There are two types of VNAV descents, path and speed. Each descent is flown differently, but the FMC uses the same descent profile with a speed or path descent. In a path descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay on the descent profile. You must monitor and adjust the speed. In a speed descent, the FMC controls pitch to stay at a target airspeed. You must monitor and adjust the descent to stay on the desired descent profile. Let's see how the descent profile is calculated. The FMC starts with the end of descent point. The FMC then calculates a path for approach speed reductions and flap extensions. Before the approach, the FMC assumes descent with idle thrust, flaps and gear up and speed breakdown. The FMC makes a top of descent point where the descent profile and cruise altitude come together. The FMC adjusts the descent profile for speed reduction at the airport speed restriction altitude. This moves the top of descent back and shortens the cruise phase. The FMC adjusts the descent profile for waypoint speed or altitude constraints. This moves the top of descent back and shortens the cruise phase again. Winds and temperatures also change the descent profile. When you put in forecast winds, the FMC adjusts the top of descent. The FMC uses all of these to calculate the top of descent point. The result is the most economical descent for the route and weather. The end of descent is near the destination airport or near the destination runway. If you do not put in an approach, the FMC assumes a straight line between the last waypoint on the flight plan and reference airport or runway. If you select an arrival or approach, the end of descent point is the last waypoint in the descent with an altitude constraint.